what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hello my beautiful ninjas and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much again for tuning in. I hope you guys are all having an awesome, awesome day. So as you guys can tell by the title, I am going to be sharing sharing with you guys some of my favorite skincare products. So we're gonna be only focusing on the face for today. I have talked about some of these products before briefly, but I haven't given you guys like full reviews on these. And um, I don't think that I've told you if I would recommend them or how often I use them. So I wanna go ahead and just jump right into it. If you guys hear a noise in the background, for one, it's my air conditioning unit, which I told you guys before. And then also Tony is on the Xbox, PlayStation. What is it, babe? Tony. He can't hear me, he has his headset on. So he's basically playing the game right there. So if you guys hear a noise in the background, that's what it is, but it is what it is. You guys did not come here for all of that. So we're gonna go ahead and ju jump right into it. So of course, if we're talking about skincare, the first thing that I wanna mention to you guys are going to be makeup wipes. I've mentioned this to you guys before. I'm hoping that you guys can see this and that my lighting is not too bright, but these are the Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes it's in the little blue package i've mentioned this to you guys before this is the one that i pretty much prefer over all of the drugstore um, makeup wipes because i've tried the avino ones before i've tried the clean and clear i think has one i've tried a couple of them from the drugstore and this is the one that definitely does a great job at removing my makeup without being like irritating my skin or stinging my eyes so these are the ones that I typically uh, purchase this one is done this is supposed to be in an empties video but whatever um, but I do have another package already waiting so this is going to be the makeup wipes that I prefer to use so I would definitely recommend this this is drugstore obviously so it's very inexpensive and I believe Target has a sale for them right now where it's like a bigger pack or like a two pack for, I don't remember how much, I think it was like $8 or something like that. So these are my favorite makeup removing wipes. So of course, um, kind of going along the train of removing your makeup because after you use a makeup remover, sometimes there could still be kind of makeup sitting you know, underneath the skin. So you definitely wanna try to make sure that you use something that will help to pull that out. And so I wanna go ahead and mention to you guys two cleansing oils. So these are the two that I have here. This one is, I'm really hoping that this focuses or that the lighting okay so I'm just gonna tell you guys what it is so this one here is the Shea Moisture sensitive skin cleansing facial cleansing oil and it's in the rose packaging the rose scented complex and then this here is the Clinique take the day off cleansing oil so these are both cleansing oils they're supposed to be do they do the same thing pretty much the reason I wanted to show you both as well and to talk about both is just to give you guys recommendations and just tell, kind of tell you the pros and cons between the both of them. So as far as these two, I use them both. I just kind of alternate between them just depending on where I am or just my mood pretty much. But I would recommend for the most part, if I had to pick between these two, I would definitely recommend the Shea Moisture one. And the reason I say that is because this one is more for sensitive skin. And sometimes my skin can definitely get sensitive. And when you're using facial oil, sometimes if it touches your eye, it can kind of like sting it. And I find that this one kind of stings my eye. So if I use this, I pretty much use this around the perimeter of my face. And then for this, I would prefer to use this for like my eye makeup and things like that because it's very sensitive to the skin. So they both do a really great job at just removing the excess makeup, which is the purpose of the both of them. And so, I mean, they do their job pretty much. Obviously this one is going to be drugstore, so it's much more affordable. And then this one is, um, you can purchase from Ulta or you can purchase this from Sephora. I would recommend both of them, but like I mentioned, if you have sensitive skin, I would say definitely go for the Shea Moisture one, just because it's a lot gentler on your eye area as well. So these are gonna be my two favorite cleansing oils. Now the next two items that I wanna mention to you guys, I'm just mentioning kind of like, they're in the same category, I'm just mentioning you guys two different products <clears throat> that I've definitely been enjoying in my skincare routine. So the next two items that I want to mention to you guys, these are going to, going to be my facial cleansers. So this one here, you guys have seen me use, I think, I think I used this on my 
All right, so I think I use this on my nighttime skincare routine, which I have that video. I posted that video maybe a month and a half, two months ago. I'll make sure to leave the link down below as well as the card will come out up here as well. So this is the Neutrogena Naturals Purifying Facial Cleanser. And I'll leave close-ups because I don't think my lighting will pick this up. Um, and then the second one that I wanted to mention as well is the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castle Soap. And this one is the lavender, uh, lavender scented one. So these are basically both facial cleansers. And I absolutely love the both of them. I would recommend the both of them. These are both very inexpensive products. You can find them at Target. Um, that's where I purchased both of these. And I just want to go ahead and talk about this one really quick. This one is... One thing that I can say about this is that if you use too much of this facial cleanser... I don't know how do I... How do I describe it? So it does a good job at cleaning your face, removing the additional dirt and impurities and things like that. But if you use too much of it, I find that it lathers up so much that sometimes it could kind of feel like you're choking a little bit. Like not because it's scented, because this is the Naturals line. So it has no uh, chemicals, no sulfates, no parabens, no dyes, nothing like that. So it's not the ingredients itself, it's just that if you use too much, because of the, how much it lathers up, if you have it like in your nose and in your mouth area, you will kind of feel like you're running out of breath before you can rinse it off. So de definitely use a very small amount. I hope that that makes sense. So just use a very small amount because a small amount does go a very long way. And I like to use this as well on like if you have one of those Clarisonics or like just like a facial... Um, cleansing brush pretty much. I have mines that I purchased from CVS. This is a perfect product to use for that because it does a really great job at lathering and just making your face feel very hydrated and still clean at the same time. So I definitely love this and I would definitely recommend this. And then the second one, I mentioned this to you guys recently. I think I mentioned this in a favorites video. This is the Pure Castle Soap. This is something that you can actually use for many different things. You can use it on your face, you can use it on your hair, you can use it to mop your floors, you can use it to wash dishes, you can use it for a number of things because it's extremely natural, but it gives you directions on how to dilute it depending on what you wanna use it for pretty much. So I absolutely love this and I actually tried it a couple of times on my skin and I actually did, um, I do love it on my skin as well because it's very gentle it still does a really good job at lathering and especially if you want to use it with one of your facial um, brushes as well it does a really good job at lathering and just making your face feel very clean it doesn't dry out the skin at all it, fe it feels very hydrated and I don't know I just really have been enjoying this I want to try the tea tree oil version of this one just because I love tea tree oil so I definitely want to go ahead and pick it up for that as well so I definitely have been loving this and then just moving on from the cleansers train I'm going to go ahead and talk about um, facial scrubs so the two that I want to mention which are going to be my favorite facial scrubs at this time this one is the Ole Henriksen transforming walnut scrub there's nothing in here it's completely done and then this one here is the MAC Mineralize Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. So these are both really good exfoliators. If you guys have not tried any of these, I would definitely recommend that you do. This one more than anything, the MAC one is, I think, more universal. I think all skin types would enjoy this. Even if you have sensitive skin, I think you would still really enjoy this. And it's because the beads in here are very fine. And the more that you rub it in, it kind of dissolves into your skin and turns into kind of like an oil. But you can use this as a mask if you want to, just to help to purify the skin. And of course, like I said, because it's an exfoliator, it does a really great job at removing like the dead skin, the top layer of dead skin. And it's really perfect for this area for me specifically because that's where I get more texture. So I really, really love this. I will continue to purchase this. I would recommend this, like I said, for all skin types. And although it's MAC, it's not that expensive. I think this was maybe like $20 or so. I'm not really sure. I'll make sure to leave links for all these products that I'm talking about down below as well as pricing, just so you guys have an idea of what to expect pretty much. But I would definitely recommend this 100%. And then the next one that I want to go ahead and talk to you guys quickly about is going to be the Ole Henriksen Walnut Scrub. I mentioned this to you guys before. I don't remember what video it was. But what I mentioned to you is that this is kind of like a heavy-duty, 
very abrasive scrub and it really is so if you have sensitive skin and you want to try this you can because my skin can get sensitive but what I would say is definitely be very light-handed with this a little bit of this still spreads across the face very nicely but I remember when I first got it I used I mean not a lot but I used a decent amount because I didn't know how abrasive it was and I literally felt like I was ripping through my skin like it was it was it's really heavy duty so if you are someone that has a lot of texture you would definitely enjoy this but if you have sensitive skin like I said just be very light-handed with this because it is very abrasive and it will irritate the skin if you use too much so with scrubs like this especially the ones that are really abrasive I would recommend that you use it pretty much like maybe once or twice a week just to make sure that you remove that dead layer of skin keep your face very smooth and hydrated but I would not recommend that you use this daily at all just because it, I feel like it'll irritate your skin more than anything for this one the MAC one it, I think it says to use maybe like three times a week or something. Yeah. So it says up to three times per week. But I think that the, because the beads are very fine and it's not abrasive at all, I feel like you definitely feel like it's exfoliating your skin, but it doesn't irritate the skin at all in my opinion. I feel like you can definitely use this more often. I do this pretty much every other day pretty much when I'm washing my face. Sometimes, you know, I slack off. Sometimes I'll use this one. Sometimes I'll just use a facial cleanser. It just depends on my level of laziness for the week. But when I do use this, I do enjoy just the way that it just exfoliates the skin without drying it out. So definitely pick this one up. Now the next one, the next kind of category I guess we can talk about are going to be face masks so the two that I want to mention are going to be from origins origins I think is just a really underrated high-end brand um, I would definitely consider them high-end because you can find them at Ulta and Sephora and of course you can pick their items up directly from their website but I definitely think that they're extremely underrated because their masks and their face washes like the oh I forgot to actually grab the other one so the other one for a facial cleanser that I want to mention to you guys is the origins frothy face wash that one is like in the white packaging and it's kind of like a um, lotion type of texture that one is extremely amazing as well so I would definitely recommend that in the cleanser I forgot to bring it but I'm not gonna get up right now but anyway so for the face mask these are two from origins the black one here is the clear Im clear improvement active charcoal mask to clear pores and as you guys can see i got a fresh pack and then this one is the origins retexturizing mask with rose clay i'm hoping that the lighting is not so bright to where you can actually see this but if not like i said i will make sure to leave close-ups for everything just so you guys know what it looks like although i'm sure you guys already do but these are going to be two face masks that i would definitely recommend to you if you are looking to not collect face masks you want to definitely make sure that you purchase something that's going to kind of like help to improve your skin that's the point of us purchasing these products in the first place and these are two that I would 100% recommend to you this one is more for texture which is obviously a retexturizing mask so this one I definitely I think I enjoy this one a little bit more I don't know okay I'm not even gonna say that I feel like I do really enjoy this because of the fact that the beads in this are very fine as well but when you leave it on you kind of let it dry down I think I leave it on typically for like 10 minutes or so once it dries down and once you go to rinse out your face you kind of feel the beads it's just kind of like exfoliating your skin but because of the other ingredients in it it's just kind of like very smooth and just your your skin definitely feels extremely hydrated as well so I really 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 enjoy this mask but of course if you are not someone that has a problem with I guess texture on your skin if your skin is pretty much very smooth lucky you uh, I would definitely recommend this one so this one is the charcoal mask and this is really great for clearing out your pores it definitely helps to dark um, lighten dark spots um, it does a really great job of just kind of like pulling out the gunk out of your skin so this is a good all-around universal mask so I think everyone should definitely have this in their collection as well because I think all skin types will definitely enjoy this there's no beads in this one but it does a really great job at like I said just 
lightening up dark spots making sure to diminish the appearance of your pores on your skin and just just removing and detoxifying your skin in general so i absolutely love this as well i feel like i'm talking so fast but it's just because i'm hoping <laughs> and praying i'm almost done but it's because i made i did a video earlier today as well and i don't think i have that much space on my memory card so i'm trying to get through this so i don't have to come back and i don't want to do all this extra stuff so i'm almost done so basically the next product that i want to go ahead and mention to you guys and i'm sorry for the noise in the background i told tony that i would be recording right now but he decides that he wants to go on the balcony he decides that he wants to play games tony talking about you but anyways so the next product that i want to go ahead and mention to you guys which would be after obviously i've taken off my makeup i've washed my face i've done a mask the next product that I want to go ahead and mention to you guys is this Thayer's Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula Toner, alcohol-free toner, and this is the rose petal scented one. I love this. This is amazing, okay? This was my first time. I, I did a Target haul a few months back, and that's when I mentioned me purchasing this uh, toner. And it was my first time trying anything from this brand. And I'm so glad that I was intrigued by it and I purchased it because I absolutely love it. My skin loves it. I use it on Tony because I just force him <laughs> to use it. Just because I feel like toners are really great at just making sure that obviously all the dirt is removed from your skin. And that it just kind of gives you a clean canvas to work on to put on your moisturizers and serums and facial oils and things like that so that they can penetrate a lot better but aside from that i feel like toners for me specifically have done a really great job at diminishing the appearance of my um pores as well as just making me less oily as well so i absolutely love this if you guys have not tried it doesn't even have to be the rose scented one but the rose scented one does smell really good but even if you want to get the one that's not scented which i i'm sure that they have I would definitely recommend that you get this Witch Hazel um, toner from Thayer's just because it does a really great job at just, like I said, removing the dirt, but it doesn't dry out the skin. It doesn't burn my eyes or anything like that. So I absolutely love this. And I do, I have noticed that since I started using this, that not only is it that my pores have gotten smaller, but I feel like it's also helped to brighten up my skin as well. I don't know if it's because of the combination of products that I've been using but I do notice that this has definitely helped to kind of like make my skin look more like vibrant and luminous so I definitely love this I would recommend this 100% and this is of course drugstore so it's not gonna break the bank so that's gonna be the only toner and then the last couple of items that I want to mention these are going to be my facial moisturizers so this one I'll start off with this one first this is the Shea Moisture Sensitive Skin Facial Moisturizer. This actually goes with the cleansing oil that I mentioned to you guys a while ago. It's the Peace Rose Complex version. It's funny because when I purchased the both of them, when I purchased both of them, I was just kind of testing it out because I do have sensitive skin sometimes and I just wanted to test it out. And when I first tried this, I was like, I don't know. It's like I wasn't trying to be open-minded but literally the more that I use it, the more that I have fallen in love with this. I'm almost done with this at this point in time. I'm pretty much close to the bottom, but I definitely will go back to purchase this again. This is a really, really nice moisturizer. I feel like this is a perfect balance between a cream and a gel. It doesn't have a gel consistency, but it's kind of like a watered down creamy cream so it's very lightweight but it does a really good job at penetrating into your skin so you feel very hydrated but it doesn't make you feel greasy or cakey or anything like that so i absolutely love i keep dropping everything okay so i absolutely love this moisturizer and like i said i would definitely recommend this this is obviously shea moisture so the price is going to be a little bit high for drugstore but it's still better than you having to pay $30 for a face, uh, facial moisturizer either way. So I would definitely recommend this line in general, especially if you have sensitive skin. I think that you'll definitely be able to find products that works really well for your skin. Like I said, this is a really, really great moisturizer. It's very lightweight. I don't want to like, I don't want to 
use it and just waste it but I'm just gonna try to put a little bit on the back of my hand so you guys can see so I just put a little bit I'm just gonna as you guys can see hopefully you guys can see this when I'm editing but it just really just sinks into the skin and once it dries down it just kind of feels like it's sucking in your oils as well I don't know if that's a part of what it says that it's supposed to do but I feel like once it dries down it just makes me feel like it's a good prep for my makeup application obviously I still go in with primer but I just feel like this is a really great base so I absolutely love it it just it's awesome and then the next one that I want to mention to you guys is pretty much uh, for the daytime is when I use this because this one has sunscreen in it it's the Neutrogena deep moisture day cream with sunscreen SPF 20 and I mentioned this a while back as well and I do really like this this is actually another one of those that if I apply this under makeup okay that's actually what I wanted to mention I don't know if this happens often but if you use a moisturizer that has SPF in it sometimes it'll leave kind of like a not leave a blue tint but it applies that way but what I find is that sometimes it can alter the color of your foundation so typically when I use this during the daytime if I'm applying makeup I do go in with kind of like a more neutral toned foundation just because it just stays neutral but if I use something that has like a crazy undertone like a golden undertone or a yellow undertone I feel like it kind of alters it and I have to do a little bit more to balance it out hopefully that makes sense that's just what I found I might be making it up in my head but I typically just go in for a more neutral foundation so typically when I wear this I will go I will use my Maybelline fit me foundation and I think it's in the shade 335 something like that I'll make sure to leave it linked down below as well but I do love this as well although it says deep moisture this is perfect for daytime because it still does a really great job at hydrating the skin without making you look greasy and it really just kind of sinks into the skin as well and what I find is that when I use this it definitely helps to control my oils a lot longer so usually when I wear this and I wear kind of like a matte foundation which most of my foundations are matte it helps for my makeup to last a lot longer without me having to blot or anything like that and then the last product that I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about is going to be a facial oil and this is the number seven youthful replenishing facial oil for all skin types um, I got this a while back but this is still pretty full as you guys can see because a little bit of this definitely goes a long way at first I'm one of those like very impatient people so I feel like after like a day or two uses I expect to see like a major difference but I had to definitely stay a lot more consistent with this for me to start seeing a difference not a long time but I think that after using it for about maybe a month or so I definitely have noticed how much brighter and more youthful my skin does look and I feel like naturally if you're able to have less dark spots and things like that it definitely will help and I'm actually gonna sample it out on my um, hand as well but if you have less dark spots on your skin and obviously you have less appearance of pores and things like that which is typically what makes us look a lot you know older um, a lot of times that is going to help your skin to just look a lot more radiant and youthful so I definitely have noticed that this has allowed my skin to just be a lot more radiant and just more youthful looking I'm trying not to use too much but I just wanted to show you guys how it looks it's not greasy at all typically I don't use this during the daytime I use it at nighttime I just don't I'm not one of those people that I feel like I would put an oil during the day just because I'm oily naturally so I just don't really think that that would make more uh, sense to me or for me but this is what it looks like as you guys can see it's dripping down because it's very lightweight it's very lightweight it's not sticky it's not greasy but it does a really good job of just making your skin just feel and look more radiant it gives you like a nice shine I don't know if you guys can see that on the back of my hand and it just soaks into the skin very nicely as well so I absolutely love this this is the only facial oil that I'm currently using and that I currently have um, besides that if I use a facial oil it'll be just my regular tea tree oil sometimes I'll just put that if I have like more dark spots and things like that so that's gonna be the last product that I wanted to mention to you guys hopefully these are all good recommendations to you if you have yet tried any of these I will definitely make sure to leave links 
to everything that I can find. I'll try to just leave links for Ulta just so I'm not saying, sending you guys to different stores. But if I can find it at Ulta, I'll make sure to leave the links down below for everything that I mentioned. But these are all my favorite skincare products at the moment. Obviously, I'm still trying new products, so it may change. And as they change, I will make sure to keep you guys updated. But that's going to be it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel for more. Be safe, stay blessed, and remember to always, always treat yourself. Peace out.